I use Snapchat because I'm a cool mom. Right, Menchie? Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine again. And Menchie, who decided to just sit on my table instead of in her holiday bed. Speaking of the holidays, if you haven't heard yet, we got new merch! It's a Menchie and Zyler's Christmas without the H. Menchie, what do you think? That's you! How about eight? And for people in warm climates, don't worry because we are in fact selling t-shirts. But also Christmas sweaters. I asked Siler to come show off his merch, but you know, he's over there being a Grinch, so. These are limited edition, so make sure to grab one before time runs out at the link down below in the video description box. And in the spirit of giving, a portion of the proceeds will be going to an animal shelter or related organization. Yay! Menchie, we want to help your furry friends out, okay? Limited edition. Cat merch, y'all. Now go tell your mama. She better buy it all. Buy that merch. Buy that merch. Menchie merch, Menchie merch, Menchie merch, Menchie merch. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm stop now. All right, what are we here for today? So as you know, we've tested many dumb nail hacks on this channel. We've found source material from Dipply.com, FabHow.com, RealMoms.com, and of course we cannot forget the YouTube channel, Troom Troom, one of the leaders in human innovation. Are you one of the 9 million people who subscribed? <laughs> but as digital technology advances, we need to make sure that we're keeping up with the most current platforms. And so let's see what kind of nail hacks Snapchat has for us. Menchie, you wanna take a picture with mommy? We can put filters on. Adorable. No! I just accidentally exited, I hate myself. Now for those of you who don't know what Snapchat is, hi boss, are you there? I would describe it as a new age social media platform you access on your cellular device where people can post brief video updates and use cute face filters and turn themselves into a dog. With every video or picture you post, it adds to your story, which disappears after 24 hours. I mean, nothing really disappears from the internet, right? But in any case, that's kind of the spirit of Snapchat. Snapchat used to be known as a place where people would send pics, but now it's being used to share nail tricks. Technological evolution, ladies and gentlemen. Recently, there was a nail hack story published by Beauty Hacks on Snapchat that a lot of you guys have been tweeting to me, ironically, on Twitter. <laughs> so I screen recorded that shit. We're gonna watch it together and I'm gonna attempt to do Snapchat nail hacks. I'm so eager to learn today. <laughs> Go tell your mama that she better buy it all. Ready? Welcome, lovelies. I'm Ow! What is this, a f***ing horror movie you open with the jump scare? We've got some great nail polish hacks today. Ooh, she's French. Ooh la la. To have long lasting nails, yes. start by applying a, a clear scrub. base. Always a good idea. Dip in what, powder. What kind of powder? Bacon portobello mushroom. I could use one of those. Where's my hamburger? Thanks, now I'm f***ing hungry. <laughs> Apply a got top it. coat. Check. You've got easy and professional looking nails. Professional? That doesn't look very professional. Okay, is that it for this hack? Want to get rid of the dip powder nails? Well, now we know that the powder was dip powder, which I detest. <laughs> dip powder isn't really a hack, and in fact, it's not that easy for the average consumer to get. So I don't really know how this fits in their like kind of snappy quick nail hacks for the average consumer. But gonna do it anyways, because I like to torture myself for views. I've used dip powder before. It really feels like I have cement on my fingers. It was awful but for some reason I kept it, so it all came down to this. Now the challenge here today is to use only the instructions given to me by the Snapchat hacks, which isn't very much, so. As per Snapchat's instructions, base coat. Does it require a special dip powder base coat? I don't know, Snapchat didn't tell me. And then you dip right after, presumably while the nail is still wet. Dusty, dusty, dusty. No second coat, just straight to the taco. No type of glossy taco in particular. Easy and professional looking nails. 
Well, that was easy, but I wouldn't call it professional. This dip powder stuff is supposed to be used with a gel base or top coat and some kind of activator. That's what actually makes it last long. <laughs> Putting on one coat of powder with regular top and base coat ain't gonna do shit. I mean, I'm no professional, but neither is Snapchat. <laughs> now what am I gonna do with this cocaine party? Want to get rid of the dip powder nails? Yes. Drink a beer! <laughs> How about some ice water? Buy your nails first. <laughs> Why? In acetone. acetone. Okay. Wrap the cotton ball around your nail. Secure it with aluminum foil. That is a good hack. Actually. Let it sit for 10 minutes. And then buy a keyboard from Wish. Or maybe some bedding. Up to you. And it'll ship off a forklift. Ow! <gasps> Why? <laughs> Oh my god! Don't forget to buff your shine! Oh, I can't watch. I'm sorry. Even though you're my other hand, I still love you, I swear. So this is definitely an older nail art hack in the books or on the socials. You just take a cotton pad or cotton ball or whatever, rub it around the nail and cover that shit in tin foil. How am I supposed to Snapchat with these things? Oh my god! How come that works? See if I can type. Oh my god, I can type. Help. Snapped. Let's just slide it right off. Hey, what do you know? It mostly worked, but that was so unnecessary because it didn't need 10 minutes to just take off regular top and base coat. <laughs> See, now my skin is unnecessarily dry because of the acetone. That was the opposite of a hack. That was just bad advice. See, I didn't even need to do that nail scraping, violent behavior. <laughs> oh, I need some. And cream. <laughs> There's still sparkle shit everywhere, but what can you do when you live in a shoe? What else you got for me? Want an easier way to remove your nail polish? Apply liquid latex first. You ever heard of a peel off base coat? It's literally called what you want to accomplish. It peels right up and leaves your nails clean in seconds. Okay, I can appreciate that the average person watching this story might see this and be like, wow, that's really smart. Someone should invent that. This was already invented for nails and it's not liquid latex because liquid latex comes off way too easily. So a peel off base coat was formulated by, I don't know, the f nail god somewhere and is specifically designed to peel off your nail polish just as easy as that except it lasts longer than like two seconds, usually. But just for fun, where my liquid latex at? Liquid latex is actually pretty tricky to apply evenly on the nail. It starts to pick itself up and solidify because it's liquid latex. All right, now that the liquid latex is dry, we're gonna give ourselves a yellow nail. What a beautiful, smooth, flawless finish nail. No taco, okay, just peel it right off. Didn't even wanna stay the night. Whoop. I mean, that was easy, but this will also last approximately two seconds. What's next? Struggling to get radiant nails? Gradient nails. My old stomping ground. Use a sponge. Sponge applicators. applicators. I'm a booty guru, so I have lots of those. <laughs> to the average person, this might seem really genius. But in fact, there is something more genius. The nail art world is... 10 years ahead of you. <laughs> Instead of an eyeshadow applicator, we use foundation makeup sponges. For some reason, the nail art world has a thing for using things meant for your face. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but it works. I shall demonstrate beauty hacks. I wanna try to stick true to their color combination, but it's just so ugly. <laughs> so I'm going for a more neon version. They didn't say if the base should be dry first, so here we go. Wow. So nicely gradiented. Let's try for round two. Like the average person would not be able to make a seamless blend here. It's just not gonna happen. I mean, it looks like I dipped the tips of my nails in something, but it's definitely not nicely blended. Now here's an actually good hack. Use liquid latex. Because this stuff is flexible and comes off so easily, it's ideal to use around the skin to protect it while you sponge on the nail polish over top. And then we grab a sponge. I like to cut mine so it's nice and fresh. Using a makeup sponge with both the colors of polish on the sponge makes it's so much easier to blend them together. And then you're just gonna dab, dab, dab to make your nails fab. Peel off the latex. Let's let you guys be the judge. Who did it better? 
Snapchat hacks, or decades of nail art research and development. All right, what other innovative hacks do we have? Stubborn Polish residue around the edges? Start by wrapping a toothpick in cotton. Then, soak it in nail polish remover. Now you can clean those hard to reach places. Should we tell them that Q-tips exist for exactly this reason? I don't know, what are you more likely to have at home? Q-tips or toothpicks and cotton balls? <laughs> I do kind of want to see if this works though. Well. It's like making cotton candy, but don't eat it. Hey! <laughs> Let's dip it in. And what do you know, it works just like a Q-tip would. <laughs> I will say that this is pointier than a Q-tip, obviously. So if you have really curved nails like I do and you really need to get in there, then not that bad of an idea, but I hope that they know that Q-tips exist. Are your nails stained? How'd you know? <laughs> Take a top coat, add white nail polish to it, mix them together. Now, You've got healthy, beautiful oh, nails. Oh yes, yeah, so much healthier. <laughs> what? Did they just dilute white nail polish to get rid of stains? At least they found a use for milky white. Let's make it. You got some milk. Bam. <laughs> Please help me, I'm getting dumber by the second. <laughs> so I have a mostly empty bottle of taco here and it looks like she added just a little bit of white polish. Why the f she stirred it instead of shaking it, I don't know. So as luck would have it, my other hand is currently stained slightly pinkish. So let's see this hack at work. Wow. That just doesn't really look so good, does it? <laughs> Do my nails look healthier or just like I got a really bad manicure. They look like they've been through some shit today and they ain't happy about it. Like clearly this doesn't remove a nail stain. Although I must say I'm happy they're not recommending that we soak our nails in some form of bleach. This is just diluting white polish in hopes of it covering up your nails, but it ends up looking streaky. Or you could just paint your nails to cover up that stain. Wow, why didn't I think of that? Well, nails. That's all for today, That's everyone. All. Oh my god. What other kind of beauty hacks you got in here? Skincare, Halloween, highlighter, tongue piercings, Kylie Jenner hacks, wow. Eating lipstick hacks, Troom Troom, is that you? <gasps> Five nifty nail hacks you need to know. Well, I thought I needed to know six nail hacks but now I need to know five more. What's up, Snapchat? I'm Mujedes. I love her accent. And welcome to another fab episode of Beauty Hack. I don't love that, though. I have the solution. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! You can have the whole freaking rainbow oh, on your neck. that looks awful. Oh, my God. What is that? Looks like a hot dog. Something is not right. I don't think that's how you water marble. If you want to learn how to water marble, I can't help you. <laughs> but neither can Snapchat, so thank you. Next! Tape and color. Ah! Jaws! No one watches Blu ray anymore, okay? Cover half so of your nails. So put tape on your tape. nails and then paint, paint over the, the color tape. On. Let it dry. Let it dry. And hello! Nail. Let it dry! Again. This is not a nail hack, this is just bad advice. <laughs> Y'all want me to demonstrate? All right, shall we point out the mistakes as we go? Number one, there's no quick dry top coat applied on the nail before applying the tape. Without it, you risk peeling off the base color when you peel off the tape. Number two, using tape. Tape is great if it's all you have, but it's not that great at giving you a nice seamless even line because you're gonna get some bubbling and rippling in the tape itself because tape is not that flexible. Nail vinyls, on the other hand, are intended for exactly this purpose and are much easier to work Work with. Totally get that not everyone might have those at home, but you know, just giving you the information. And mistake number three, letting this dry before you peel off the tape. <laughs> if I wait till it dries, then it's gonna look like this. So not only have we ruined the base color underneath and my beautiful gradient, but the seam line ain't smooth at all. All of which could have been avoided by using a glossy taco and nail vinyls removed immediately, but who am I? I never do nail art. <laughs> Broken, Broken nail nails are a girl's worst nightmare. Who stalks my Instagram? Get yourself a tea bag and some scissors. I just finished my tea. Get a little piece of Ah, uh, yes. Piece. The tea bag hack. This is actually a pretty good hack. I've done this before. 
I don't think I've ever made a video on it, but unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, I don't have any broken nails right now, so we can't try that one out. We can't afford another funeral, so. <laughs> but I will say that it works if you have a split on one side of your nail. Sponge, glass jar, put uh, the sponge yes. in the glass, pour a nail polish, the old in finger there. the jar trick. Well, good, because I need to take this shit off. Mason jar. Sponge. Sponge? She probably says it like that because sponge in French is éponge, so it sounds like sponge. So basically, you just take a giant sponge and shove it in the jar. Soak it up, boy. First one to make a fingering joke has to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I do like this hack, it's not bad. Hey, look at that. But just for the record, nail companies have already invented this for years now. <laughs> But it is cool that you could make it yourself at home. I just think it can be a waste of acetone because it gets really dirty down at the bottom and then you're just stuck with a giant jar of disintegrated nail polish. So you don't really get that many uses out of this. That and the more you push your finger up and down in the sponge, the more likely that you're gonna stain your skin because the polish is getting pushed back onto your skin as you go in and out. YouTube, please don't demonetize me, I swear. It's, I'm just removing my nail polish. <laughs> so much nail abuse today. Get the matte look in seconds. Boil some water. Hover your nails over it. Has having cute nails <laughs> ever been easier? So they're saying you can get matte looking nails just by putting your nails over top of a boiling pot of water. So my nails have suffered enough abuse for the day, so I'm not gonna test that, but yes, technically that does kind of work, especially with a dark colored polish, because the steam evaporating from the hot water temporarily takes away the glossy shine of the nail polish, but it doesn't last very long, and you could just use a matte taco to make your nails matte. <laughs> but hey, next time you're cooking and you wanna try it out, be my guest. I never cook, so. That'll be a problem for me. So if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to me. Now, how do I unsubscribe? Ugh, okay. I generally appreciate the idea of curating some good nail hacks and bringing them all together for people to learn about. But for more than one of these Snapchat hacks, they were just wrong. <laughs> or there was a better way to do it. And it's not like the better hack is some well-kept secret. All they had to do was Google it, and I'm sure they would find like a hundred examples. Let's be honest, Snapchat probably isn't the best platform for sharing nail hacks or other beauty hacks because you really need more information than that kind of platform will allow. But what I did learn is that I really feel like a Wendy's hamburger and maybe some beer while watching Jaws and finding out who my Instagram stalkers are. Those hacks were super quick and how many ads did we see between them? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Back in the olden days on Snapchat kids in 20... 15 or 16. There once was a time when there was little to no ads on Snapchat and there were no brands or media companies in sight posting clickbait life hacks. Snapchat has changed a lot, but so has Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Do you guys even use Snapchat anymore or just Instagram stories? Actually, let's do a poll. Click somewhere over here. What are you more likely to watch? Instagram stories or Snapchat stories or none of the above? I personally try to use both of them but I have a confession. I make my stories on Snapchat, download them, and then upload them to Instagram stories. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. <laughs> and that's the tea. <laughs> if you don't already, you should follow me on Snapchat for a good time. My username is simply an illogica. Yes, without the L because I don't take no L's. Or just, you know. It was too long of a name. Or you can just search the hollow CD emoji and I'll come up. How f***ing cool is that? I mostly post my nails in the elevator, me at work, my tea at work, simply face logical at work, and a lot of my cats. <laughs> Speaking of my cats again, don't forget to get my limited edition cat merch shirts or sweaters. On Snapchat, I would say swipe up for the link, but since we're on YouTube, swipe down. No, go down below in the... Whatever. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Wow, another nail-related video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.